What's up guys? Welcome to another coding vlog. The last episode did surprisingly well, honestly. So um, this is part two of working on a project that I haven't touched in a little while. So let's first just go ahead and jump into what we did last episode and what we kind of want to work on moving forward. All right, you know, I got to get the perfect angle right here. Okay, so last episode, we worked on the header, the ID. Idea bank. So to kind of refresh some of you guys' memory, this is what my idea was for this idea bank. It's just a little bit of a beginner project. I haven't coded in about a week, honestly, because I've just been kind of focused on other things. But with that me in mind, what we did last episode, we, we worked on this. Uh, we worked on this part of the project right here, which is just simply Omar's had the header bank. We just wanted the header right there. Worked on the CS, uh, some of the CS for the website, just basically kind of, you know, getting the background and stuff in order. But mainly, the cool thing that we did was when we click this right here, an uh, input field pops up. We still got to kind of design it, but I'll kind of save that for like later on. The big point is I just kind of want to get the function in line. So once we hit I Omar's idea bank, what happens here? So we can type whatever we want hello world and add it it's not storing the idea at all or the text but we did kind of get the cool input field just in case if i'm feeling kind of lazy and i don't want to scroll all the way down i could just hit the header of my page and instantly gain access to it as well too so that's that um and then the add button just simply closes it but later on the add button will be something that will kind of save it to our data and add a new input card just below here <laughs> So I am struggling with a little problem here. All right. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get here. See, on mobile, it looks fine. On mobile, this is the exact design that I want. I want the input field icon and well, it's gonna be a search icon and the add button to be exactly evenly spaced like this, which is just perfect, right? But the problem runs into when I want it on a bigger. For example, if I wanted it on a 27 inch screen monitor, I obviously would want the input search field to be centered and I would want it to be far bigger. So that's the problem that I'm currently running into. So this is what I'm gonna do for the center align section. For the center align, I had originally justified content between space between but i removed that and just did margin margin left and right to be six which kind of did the deal for me so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to justify center now when i justify center this should justify center on all screens and is exactly what i want now i want this to be a little bit bigger i want my input field to just be a tad bit bigger to the point where it grows to flex one well Actually, it is at flex one. I don't know if I want the search bar to be bigger or I want this to kind of grow in size. I think honestly, for now, I'm gonna leave it how it is. But I'm gonna go back to another project that I have that is similar to the one that I'm trying to create. So this was a project from before that I previously kind of worked on. And as you see here, I like how the search bar gets bigger here. You see how it gets small and it kind of fits perfectly right there. I would say mine's does the same to a certain extent. It does it well enough for me, honestly. But what I'm trying to do 
is I'm trying to get it, see how here it decreases in size, and then it looks like almost a media query. Once it gets to here, it gets even bigger, and then there's a max width and it kind of gets dragged across. I think I figured it about the problem. I think I have it small when I need to have it medium. So now let's take a look at it. I think that did something. I could be totally wrong here, but I think that honestly did do something. On small devices, I have it on medium, so when it gets down to here, it stays that kind of big until it kind of shrinks in size, but it's bigger here. So now what if I do it? Okay, so I figured out the problem. The problem was in my uh, media query section here, I had it at medium. So it was very small, like on mobile, see how it's like this? It looked like that on the whole page, but basically over time it grows to be just that big. And then it stays like that pretty much the whole way. And when it's on mobile, it looks perfectly spaced around. So that's honestly the option I'm gonna go with. Now, the next thing I'm going to try and work on is the buttons. Let's jump into it. just finished the input section. I gotta say, um, it took me 90 minutes just to style the input section, honestly, <laughs> which is crazy. But the good thing is it's gonna take me 90 minutes now, but the next time I have to do something like this, it may only take me 15 to 20 minutes because just going through this process alone, you learn a lot, you learn what certain things do um and random fire alarm that's kind of what I'm, I'm doing so it took me 90 minutes just to kind of finish the input section and i didn't even get started with the javascript so uh yeah let me just go ahead and show you guys what i got right now all right so joe and tell for the class please here we are anyway here we are this is the new design of the omar's idea bank and honestly i like it far better it's something about the color slate that just just like yeah you know what i'm saying it just really like it's something about the color slate that i just like so much i don't know if it's just the simplicity of it or just like the the, the, the flavors of gray and blue i don't know i just i just really like it a lot so i decided to change the website background over to this and then i wanted to add slate buttons as well so we got here a couple of buttons omar's idea bank just kind of you know we worked on that last episode we still have to kind of finish this which we will um but that's for another day and we have the search field which now is responsive right on big pages this is what it look like this and i have about a 34 so it's it's pretty it's, it's pretty good and then on the phone this is what it's kind of looking like i like it it's even i like the space between it and that's good enough for me honestly so we got the search field to type whatever we want in here and then we have the well this is a search field and an ad field at the same time it's going to be used in like different cases so like for example if the add button gets hit instead of the search button what it's going to do is going to add a new idea to my bank of ideas but if the search button gets hit it's just going to try and find an idea that has this in it basically so these are the functions of the buttons that i have not started yet but what i have in mind for it i think it's a pretty cool idea and then we're gonna have you know whatever we need to um with it with that being said that's gonna be it um it took me 90 minutes to code this next time it'll take me 15. it's gonna be kind of it for today and uh, i really hope you guys enjoyed this video is gonna be quite short but coding episode part two i feel pretty good even though it took me 90 minutes to work on cs I feel pretty good about the results um, and I'm really excited to kind of work on the next thing. So next episode coming soon, stay tuned and until next time, peace and love.